Good morning, beautiful babies. I got a channel message. This is not going to resonate for everyone. God is about to start talking about you, putting your name in other people's ear, planting seeds on your behalf. Offers are about to start coming in if they aren't already. You are on people's mind. You've infiltrated their defenses with your pure heart and authenticity. Even those who turn to reject you cannot deny your magnetism. You stir emotions in people, shine a light on those dark places, and thus trigger many. Don't be discouraged by any outbursts or projections. It just shows that it's working. Those seeds were planted, and though it might not happen overnight, those seeds will come to sprout one day. Do not give up. So this is an older channeled message um, that I was guided to go back and share. And this is for the those who are on the path of leadership, um, like myself. But this also might be a future message, future, because time is an illusion. This might be a message that is for you, that's guiding you toward your leader, yourself as a leader. So regardless of whether you've stepped into your role yet or not, this might be for you. If it feels resonant, if you feel like there's a part of you resonating with the words I'm saying, with the attributes that I listed, it's probably because you're about to head into a season where you are a leader. And I've been guiding, I'm being told to say, the reason why I've been on here sharing what I've been sharing is to guide those leaders, to get those leaders to stand up and start leading. I didn't know that at first, but that's become very clear over the last few months. I'm here to guide other leaders and also the greater collective at large through the stage of awakening, the process of awakening, and to offer you know support along the way but this particular message is for those that are being guided to step up as leaders themselves so if you've been feeling that call and you've been resisting now's the time to you know surrender is what i'm hearing and you will be rewarded as as that message said your um, efforts are not going to go unnoticed and even if it takes a while it's working and i will share that i've been um, sharing my stuff on YouTube and eventually everywhere else as well <clears throat> since February of 2021 with very, very little fanfare, with very little um, interaction or engagement at all. <clears throat> and I was guided to continue even though nobody was showing up. And eventually I started reaching the people that I needed to reach. It took a long time and it took a lot of inner work and all of it was necessary for me to become the person I am today. So don't be discouraged if it doesn't work right away, if what you're doing, if the energy that you're pouring into whatever it is that you're working on isn't paying off right away. This goes for everyone watching. Be persistent when it feels like a soul calling. Be persistent when it matters most. Don't let um, the lack of fanfare or attention or recognition be any indication of where you should or should not be. Because most of the time you have to fight really hard for that. Really fucking hard. It doesn't just come like that. And it doesn't matter if you're looking for fanfare or recognition or any of that. What I mean is if, if you're looking for some kind of uh, return on the investment that you're making and you're not seeing it right away, that does not mean it's not going to come with time. It's, it's really just spirit trying to test you to see how strong you are, how resolved you are to making that change, to having that impact, to creating that project or that business or whatever it is that you're being called to step out and do. Um, and of course, as a leader leading this new awakening, I don't do this for any particular reason other than to show up for my soul's calling. This is my, this is my destiny. You know what I mean? This is why I came here at this particular time as a human, as a, as a vessel. Um, I came here to lead, to share my knowledge and wisdom and my art and all the stuff that's coming in the future. Uh, I'm just scratching the surface right now, just in case you didn't know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not for a purpose other than just to fulfill my contract in this life, to um, soothe my soul, to uh, pour into my, you know, my cup, my emotional cup because when I do this work, it, it does fill me up. It does give me, it gives back in and of itself because I'm working in tandem with spirit. 
And so will you if you are following your soul's calling. You'll be working in tandem with your guides, with God, and that's all that really matters. Okay? And don't look externally. I'm being guided to talk to my innovators, my visionaries, like myself, the leaders. Don't look to other people for validation in what you're doing right now because you're ahead of the curve. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. I watched, um, was guided to watch Edward Scissorhands again last night. And I, I looked it up. It came out in 1990. And it just made me realize how ahead of his time Tim Burton was. He was very, very ahead of his time. And he activated me as a young child. Hardcore. He has very much influenced me as an artist, as a human, in ways that I didn't even realize until I've been re-watching some of his films and recognizing how much of myself I feel has um, been formed by his ideas and his innovation. And my point is, you're ahead of your time. If this part of the message is for you, you don't look to the people around you to recognize how special you are or, or the significance, thank you spirit, of what it is that you're working on because they're not going to. You're ahead of your time. You're ahead of the curve. They're probably going to be looking at you like people were looking at me three years ago when I started my channel um, as if I was crazy, as if they wanted to step back slowly and get as far away from me as possible. Pretty much everyone I knew from the past uh, treated me that way and it's just because I'm ahead of my time. I'm ahead of the curve. I was here to lead and in order to lead you kind of have to you have to be in front of people. You have to kind of pave the road yourself. So again, don't look to what other people are doing or how they're responding to what you're doing to um, guide you because you're supposed to innovate. You're supposed to create the path. They're gonna follow you. Maybe not right away and maybe at first they're gonna think you're crazy, but they will catch up with you because everything's shifting right now. I just saw like um, tectonic plates, I think that's the term, moving around and shifting. 711 on my timer, sacred number, like sh things are about to start shifting underneath people and they're gonna start being forced <clears throat> to do a lot of the work that you've been doing for depending on who you are and how long you've been doing this, up to you know several decades if you're anything like me. Um, you know, a lot of you, I'm hearing, started awakening back in the first um, big shift around the early 2000s. You started awakening. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of energy around this. Now is your time. For those of you that started awakening 20 years ago, you're being called to action. Step forward now to be a leader. And even if you don't know what you're supposed to lead, what you're supposed to do, ask your guides. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go into meditation and ask for support. Ask for um, clarity. And even if you get um, an inkling to do something that doesn't make any sense necessarily, do it. Because there's a reason. It's all going to lead to something. When I started my channel, it didn't have anything to do with spirituality necessarily. Um, it didn't have anything to do with ascension or leading others in this particular way. I started where I was. And it was some music and mostly mental health and um, self-love stuff. But I didn't have I didn't have the vantage point of someone that could guide others yet. I was really just sharing my journey through the muck and the mire of healing trauma. And it was <laughs> it was painful to share, but I I did because that's what I was called to do, and that is what has led me here. And I I couldn't be more grateful for the previous version of me that got me here. Cause she's a fucking badass and she had to face a lot of um, opposition and challenges and she still kept going and she never stopped sharing her light and I'm so fucking proud of her. So there's a version of you that's guiding you forward that's going to thank the version of you now for getting you where you're about to head. So get moving, get started and if you need some assistance I can help you. Um, we could just do a quick tarot reading and get you on track or we can work together as mentor, mentee, or, you know, I can coach you through, emo sorry, emotional healing, trauma healing, self-empowerment, self-love, things that don't necessarily come naturally to a lot of humans, who, especially those of us who've had a really hard life, a really hard life. So I'm happy to work, I'm blessed and honored to work with you, but either way, get moving. <clears throat> you got work to do, baby. You, you're needed right now is what I'm hearing. You're, it's your time, you're needed, step forward. Just ask God and take inspired action. Don't force anything. All right? I love you. Keep going.